playing or because your acting career didn't work out. Oh my God. This ain't me scared, boy. This is me pissed off. All right. How's it going, John? Good, man. I like your background there. That's Thank that's, you. Yeah, it looks great. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Um, I got to watch One Day as a Lion yesterday, and I got to say, I was either, I got so involved in the story, and there were times where I just kept laughing my butt off because the dialogue in it was so great. Like, I felt like I was watching a movie from the Coen brothers, you know, had that total feel to it. And overall, I, I actually enjoyed this. I absolutely enjoyed this movie. Great, man. That's uh, that's I'm sure fl- uh, Scott would be flattered by the uh, the the references to his dialogue. And uh, I'm certainly, you know, just uh, I, I love hearing that you, you enjoyed the movie, man. That's great. So my first question is, how did you how did you get involved in this in the film? Yeah, um, Scott's agent is a uh, an old friend of uh, the, my producer, Jeremy Rosen's. And he, you know, reached out to Jeremy on behalf of Scott and Scott's script and just said, hey, this might be something you're interested. Would would you take a look at it? Jeremy read it. Um, He liked it. He talked to Scott. They got along. Um, Jeremy mentioned the potential for me maybe directing it. Um, Scott seemed open to that. He watched Ida Red, really enjoyed that film. Then I read the script and uh, we had a Zoom and multiple Zooms. And eventually felt like it was uh, it was something we all wanted to do together. So that's the uh, the origin story. That's awesome. I got to say, I mean, I've seen Scott in a lot of stuff and just find out that he actually wrote the script. I think he did a tremendous job on it. And I love how he had such a funny role as this bumbling hitman. <laughs> and uh, but I like the fact that he did it with a noble reason, you know, in terms of saving his son. And, you know, so he's kind of like the noble you know, bumbling hitman in a way, but um, what was it like working with him on the actual set? Yeah, it was, it was nice. I mean, um, you know, it, it made my job easier um, at times, you know, because Scott had, had written the script and written his own character. So, you know, there wasn't a need all the time for me to interpret the text for him or explain the text to him. Um, You know, there were times where we had differing opinions and we, we talked that out and, and figured out the, uh, the the um you know the proper way to play it but uh but overall it was you know scott was scott's a professional he's he's been on countless movie sets he grew up on movie sets um so you know uh when you got people like that around it 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 makes things move pretty smooth you know yeah what was it like working with frank grillo because i I mean he's he's like a lot he's becoming like a big icon now and his scenes were really funny as well especially when his dialogue with george carroll is dumb or he has to come back saying where they start talking he's like do i look okay does it look like 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 in that tone like those were the parts that made me laugh so hard because this is something you don't really see much in these type of movies except for like i said the cohen like something the cohen brothers would have done so what was it like working with frank on the set um you know i've done quite a few movies with frank at this point and uh i really enjoy working with the guy he's you know another professional he shows up ready to go and you know we we hadn't had i haven't seen frank do much comedy and uh you know him getting to lean into this role of of polly um was a real treat to watch because he is he is just naturally one of the funniest people i know um so it was it was a pleasure to get to uh to get to be a part of and to work with frank on this that's great and uh jk simmons he's he's a legend already and I, i liked his role in this film too where you know, he's supposed to be the target and then he tries to he tries to play off on the on the hit you know on Paulie saying I'm not paying you a thing until I'm ready to pay you I, I love that because that that's like part of the importance of the story overall and you know that's one thing I loved about the film it's like these all little stories connected into one thing and that's what really helps but JK JK was really great in his role like he's try, he himself he's like He's like Paulie's level. He's like a mob boss himself in a way. But what was it like with him on the set? You know, uh, again, not to sound like a uh, like a like a broken record, but, um, you know, JK is, you know, an Academy Award winner. I mean, he's a uh, he's a killer, you know, on set. And he's he's a serious guy who shows up prepped and ready to work. Um, and at the end of the day is uh, is a super, you know, 
warm and 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 just a big baseball fan so uh we found that we had that in common but um no it was great i mean all these actors man i from top to bottom were were a pleasure to work with and uh you know anytime i'm getting to watch a monitor and and provide some direction to any of them is a is a treat and a dream come true that's awesome how long did shooting take and were there any um problems that you faced during production that you had to like set you know go to a plan b of sorts yeah i mean the shooting took about seven it, we shot it in about 17 and a half days which is a very short shoot um um and yeah there there were external uh factors and things that that caused problems uh but nothing we didn't weather um and uh yeah i mean the, the, we shot in oklahoma during the summer and it was an extremely hot summer it was 109 degrees on a few days um so it was it was almost like uh you know the danger to film on some days but other than that it was uh just a movie shoot man and we made it through and uh we were grateful to have the opportunity to to do this for a living you know you know so yeah and i'm not going to spoil anything but i the one one scene that really got me was the ending because I thought for sure it was going to end one way and then to find out how it completely ended I was just like oh well that's oh like wow it's not what I expected but I that, in a way it, it was a good ending but still it was coming unexpected like that's why I like the little twist and turns throughout the story and I you know like I said Scott did a great job with the script just adding these little twists and little nuances in there and even bringing these characters that appear maybe just for like a scene or two like you know Taryn's role you know she's not in it much in the movie but you know she still makes an impact and i gotta say ken walsh has to be one of the funniest characters i've seen in a while because he he reminds me of better better call saul but like so i i loved i love that all together but overall I, I mean this was a great movie and i hope people will get to see it when it comes out well that's uh that's very flattering albert thank you yeah taryn taryn is a professional uh the likes of which uh few are you know shows up does her job um you know present all that stuff she's she's really uh was a dream and then um Kenny Walsh is uh is one of uh, my all-time favorites and and our guy Billy Blair is a um recurring uh character actor in the movies we do and um we had a blast with that man he's uh he's he is one of a kind yeah, I will say it as I would love to see Kenny Walsh in a spinoff of this. If this movie becomes big enough, I would love to see Kenny Walsh return in a spinoff of sorts, like where he's the main character. I think that would be absolutely, yep. I, yep. I think that would be absolutely hysterical. I would totally be in game for I would totally be game for that for sure. Excellent. So finally, what's next for you after this movie's out that you can talk about? Yeah, we're we're prepping a movie now called King Ivory, which is a uh true crime thriller uh about the fentanyl epidemic and uh it's a serious movie um with some great characters and uh great cast coming together so we're, we're really excited for that that's awesome so one day as a lion is coming on april 4th and then it'll be on demand april 7th and i gotta say people are i mean if you love the coen brothers movies you're gonna love this movie and i think scott Kahn gives one of the best performances of his career with this movie and the fact that he also wrote it just makes it more engaging and more fun to watch. So, John, I want to thank you again so much for taking the time to talk about the movie. Thank you, buddy. All right. You take care. You too, man. All right. Bye-bye.